Did you know that security guards work in banks? I am Holly of Region Security Guardian's YouTube channel and in today's video we'll be discussing all the different security measures that banks have and why guards are number one on that list. Before we begin discussing why guards are important within bank security, let's first discuss what bank security is. Put it simply, bank security is all the different security measures that are put in place to protect a bank from security risks such as thieves, fraud, criminals and break-ins. The main role of bank security will be to ensure the protection of all workers and customers at a bank. But what are these security measures? Let's get into it. 1. Security Guards First security measure that banks will pay is security guards. Guards will be hired in banks as they have a strong security presence and they can reduce crime by acting as a visual deterrent against thieves. And it is a known fact that people are less likely to commit crimes when they know that they are being watched. 2. Electronic Coded Keypad Doors The second security measure that banks will use is having electronic coded keypad doors. Electronic doors are designed to only be opened when a certain code has been entered. And electronic doors in banks code will only be known by the staff members of the bank. And electronic doors are a good security measure to have as they can provide banks with an extra layer of protection. 3. Security cameras Third security measure that banks will have in place is security cameras. Cameras will provide protection as they can act as a visual deterrent against thieves. CCTV cameras are also beneficial as they recover all blind spots within a bank and if a crime is recorded on the footage of a security camera then this footage can be used as evidence. 4. Panic security alarm systems. The fourth security measure that banks will have in place is having a panic security alarm system. Banks will use these as an extra layer of protection for their building and a panic security alarm system is like a regular alarm system but they are also wired up so they are connected to the police. So if an alarm does sound then the authorities will be notified straight away. 5. Personal alarm. The fifth security measure that banks will have in place are personal alarms. A personal alarm is a small device that makes a sound when a button is activated on it. Bank workers may carry them around as they are an extra layer of protection and they will often use personal alarms to warn other staff members if they see any suspicious activity. 6. Cyber security tools. The sixth and final security measure that banks will have in place is cyber security tools. Banks will not only need physical protection, but they will also need cyber protection as well. Banks constantly use online technology to review customers' bank statements and to manage money transactions. So it is extremely important that their technology is well protected. One way that banks protect themselves online is by making sure that they only use and buy good cyber security tools. Why do banks need security guards? Although banks use a lot Lot of different security measures to ensure their safety. Security guards have been known to be one of the best security measures that they can take. But why is this? Well, security guards will be hired in banks. Like many other businesses, banks will need good security in place to ensure their protection. Banks are often a huge target for criminals and it is known that bank security guards are able to scare criminals away as they can provide a strong security presence and give the impression that a business is instantly protected. Guards will not only provide protection, but they may also help customers with any inquiries that they have. Another benefit of having security guards in banks is that they help to make all customers and workers feel much safer at the bank. What does a bank security guard do? Aside from providing protection to all workers and customers at a bank, guards will also have many other tasks and responsibilities to oversee. Some of these are using security cameras to monitor different areas, doing regular patrols around a bank, keeping a watchful eye out for criminals, helping all customers with any inquiries that they may have, writing incident reports, and reviewing everybody who enters or exits the bank. How much does a bank security officer earn? From doing some research online on a website called Glassdoor, we found that bank security guards within the UK during 2022 earned on average £24,947 per year. However, how much a bank security guard earns will depend on many things such as the position they are applying for and the location that they are working in, as bigger cities may pay more than smaller rural areas to help cover for the cost of living. That's the end of our video. Do you think banks need security guards? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date with all the latest security guarding news. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you in the next one.